I need to kind of explain to you why I've been calling Titans fans a bunch of dorks on the internet. Okay? I need you to get this. I've been calling Titans fans a bunch of dorks on the internet because I feel like they out here getting into an argument that really ain't got nothing to do with them. Okay? Now, many of my friends have learned the hard way about how if you are having an argument with your mother, for example, and your father comes in and intervenes and telling your father that it doesn't have anything to do with him, that's not, that's not how it works, right? But Titans fans ain't my daddy, and I need them to understand that the beef that I have really has nothing to do with them. And this is the beef that I'm talking about, okay? Sean, I think you may have seen this, but the Titans, for the second time this year, went out there wearing Houston Oilers uniforms with the Oil Derrick logo at midfield and the Oil Derrick on the helmet and the uh, Columbia blue and white uniforms with the red trim, right? They have been, they've been doing this. I didn't even grow up as an Oilers fan. Somehow, I got a hold of the Falcons first. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't, I don't know what, whether that's <sighs> anyway. <sighs> wow. A yeah. great what like, if in your just... history. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What if I was rooting for the team that blew a 35 to three lead in the playoffs rather than the team that after I got off the narcotic blew a 28 to three lead in the Super Bowl? Those were my choices. But anyway, I did grow up in Houston. Like that is where I'm from. And If you know anything about the Oilers and their move to Tennessee to become the Titans, it was a bit ugly. It was a bit contentious. And it really had to do with the beef between the owner, Bud Adams, and the city. Not just the politicians in the city, but honestly, the people in the city. And it had just reached a point where I think he was trying to get out on the lease two years early or something like that. And people just got tired of him. And part of why they got tired of him is the football team was sorry at the time he was trying to do these things, right? And they just decided, no, we've had enough. If you say you're going to bounce, then I guess you just going to bounce. They had to save the Oilers rally once. And I remember this. It had like 60 people show up. And then as a result, they left, they played a year in Nashville, they played a year at Vanderbilt Stadium, and then for the 1999 season, which is the season that the Titans went to the Super Bowl, they played in the new stadium that they opened up in Nashville. Okay. Now, when they played in that stadium in Nashville, that was also the first year that they were the Tennessee Titans. They changed the name to be the Tennessee Titans, but the big reason that they changed the name to be the Tennessee Titans was so they wouldn't be the Oilers anymore. Like that's 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 where the issue comes up with them breaking these uniforms back out. They decided that they wanted to leave that history in the past and they no longer wanted to be the Houston Oilers or the Tennessee Oilers. They wanted to move into a whole new world. So what they did was they moved on. They got them old dry ass uniforms they've been wearing for 20, 25 years now. And they became the Titans, which to me is an entirely different team. And they belong to Nashville and good for Nashville that they got a team that's very important to them. It changed, it helped change the reputation of the city nationally, all of those things. Fantastic. You can have that, but you got to leave this oilless thing in Houston because this is not about whether or not, uh, what is his name? Amy Strunk. I think that's her name. Uh, uh, but Adam's daughter, this ain't about whether or not she or the NFL or anybody else owns the intellectual property. They obviously own the intellectual property, but these owners of teams are really just stewards of teams. I understand that like by property rights, they're theirs, but the teams like it don't really belong to them in that way. If they are, I, I feel like most of these franchises truly are like trusts that belong to the people themselves. And there's a larger cultural significance that surrounds all these teams. And so there's a reason why the Rockets city, NBA, the NBA team, the Rockets, their city uniforms are the light blue joints with the red trim and light blue is not one of their colors. There is a reason why the University of Houston tried to break out football uniforms that were light blue with the red trim. And that's because the Oilers belong to the city. Like everything that's associated with them, they belong to the city of Houston. It means something there. All it means when you break this stuff out in Nashville 
is that people think the uniforms look cool and that you got a chance to sell them and make some extra money. The problem that you have, of course, is that the way Bud left, they antagonized the whole city of Houston. So don't nobody from Houston really want to buy it now because it all feels a little bit weird, right? But it don't, it don't belong there. And so I'm trying to make this point that I just find it to be distasteful that the Titans decided to break these uniforms out, especially when they're playing in a game against the Texans. I just found it. I don't have any issue with them honoring the great players of the franchise. It gets weird with Moon because, I mean, Bud ultimately admitted that trading Warren Moon was a bad idea and the way that he was treated. By the, I mean, Bud tried to steal millions of dollars from the man and not honor contracts and stuff like that, as I recall. But I, you honor Warren Moon because Warren Moon's the greatest quarterback, if not just the greatest player in the history of your franchise. You do that. It all makes sense. And to be honest, the city of Houston don't deserve Warren Moon either because they didn't treat him so great when they had him. But I get it, right? The franchise should honor Earl Campbell. I get all of that. I also think that the day that they decided they was going to make some Houston Texans, the first order of business should have been to retire number 34, and the second order of business should have been to retire number one. You keep all that cultural football history of the city and associated with that franchise. Nobody would have a problem. Everybody would understand it, right? But they stopped being the Oilers in part because of pettiness. And it feels like they're going back to being the Oilers, even if just to the cosplay, in the name of pettiness. And I'm just saying, man, the stuff is more important to a lot of people than just that. And that's something I don't think, if you were a Titans fan, you could understand. Because honestly, y'all so happy to have a goddamn football team. Like if I was you, I just, I just, I just can't. Like if I was y'all... I would be so thrilled because like Nashville is on the come up, but y'all know what y'all are. Y'all know what y'all was. Y'all know y'all never thought y'all was ever going to get no real team or anything like that. You, I, I 100% get all of that. Uh, my buddy Nick uh, from Kansas City, he always makes the point um, that I forget who the mayor was in Kansas City that said that the only difference, the reason that people don't look at Kansas City like they look at Omaha is because Kansas City has the Chiefs and the Royals. And that's Nashville, like, I mean, I'm not saying it's the same as Birmingham, but I ain't really saying it's that much different either. Y'all got these teams. I get it. You're so proud to have that team. All right. You got it. And you probably feel good that you got it over like a more legitimate city than you. I fully get that. Good for you guys. You got the team. Because like this is different between Nashville and Houston. If the Titans leave Nashville, ain't nobody else showing up. Ain't nobody else going there. Orders left Houston and it was like, don't worry, we'll be we'll we'll take care of that. Don't you worry. We'll get this figured out. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll We'll come up with a plan. Anybody worried about y'all? Anybody going to do that, right? And so I'm talking about this from a legitimate, heartfelt place for people from Houston, right? And especially the people who, like, really love that team, which is it was a very complicated breakup that they had with the now Titans. And now these jokers want to come out here and play around with the clothes and play around with the colors when... I think Bum B made this point. Uh, my man Dave Wilson at ESPN wrote an article about the Oilers, and Bun made this point that was so important is that, like, particularly like the Love Your Blue era Oilers, it didn't get more Texas than that, right? You got a head coach who wears a cowboy hat for road games, but never for home games because the home games are played inside and you don't wear your hat inside, right? You got Earl Campbell out here in the jeans and the belt buckles and doing commercials for Skull. Yeah, skull like dip, you know, like this is this is what I'm saying, man. Like, like the Oilers are Houston, the Titans are Nashville. Be the Titans while you in Nashville, cause you didn't want to be the Oilers no more. Like, look, the Lakers ain't no lakes in L.A., but they kept being the Lakers, and you know about the damn Utah Jazz. Like, if the I think if the Oilers had left Houston and had gone to Tennessee and stayed the Oilers the whole time, we're not having this discussion. We're not. But you ain't want to be that no more. So don't be that no more. Be the Titans. Do that. Or, or, when you decide you want to pretend like you're the Oilers, probably don't let Case Keenum walk you down <laughs> y'all lost that game to the texas and case keenum walked y'all down. don't 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 do that <laughs> don't 
do that. Prize Picks is the most fun you can have by winning up to 25 times your money this football season, and now you can play during basketball season two. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Prize Picks is really simple to play. You can make our picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. So make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash Bomani and use code Bomani for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Bomani. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. 